hello guys welcome to today's video today is an exciting day today i'm going to be making apple jam so to start i have here my pan on fire and i have here some diced apple which i've added um orange juice and lemon we are going to cook this so i'm going to boil this until this apple is really soft so you are going to add in a good amount of water and you are going to allow this to boil so let's allow this let me add a little bit more water because we have a lot of apples so let's allow this to boil on medium high heat and then once it boils we are going to allow this to cook and then we are going to allow this to cool and then we blend or we mash so see you when it cooks so our apples are done boiling we allowed it to cool down a little bit and we are going to use this to mash you can also use a blender but i feel like this is better because you have to pour it into the blender pour back wash and all that so because it's very soft you see how easy it is you can see a lot a little bit of heat because it's freshly boiled and i allowed it to cool down a little bit wow this looks delicious oh my goodness i can't wait to eat this jam so we are going to do this till we get a super super smooth and then we put back on the stove and we add in our sugar and you know if you have cinnamon you can add it so you so it means that you can have cinnamon apple jam so let's put this back on the stove this is back on our stove and then we are going to add in sugar so if you want it extremely sweet, you can use um, half a cup of sugar, but I'm using close to half a cup, so let's say quarter cup of sugar. And even that one, I'll be a little careful. Add it in a little at a time. We add it in a little at a time and we taste. So it's going to dissolve into the apple and you are going to taste remember we added in orange juice and lemon juice initially way to eat this with bread but let me taste the sugar content mm. that is perfect i don't need to add more sugar i'm not you know somebody who is into sugar and salt so this is fine Adding a touch of cinnamon is going to, you know, bring out the flavor. So we are going to cook this until we get a jammy consistency. So let's cook this. When we get a jammy consistency, we'll be back. Wow. So this has been cooking for quite some time. But this is the consistency you are looking for. Look at this. Let me zoom in. Look at this consistency. Jammy consistency. Look at this. Let me show you again. It's not too thick. It's not too liquidy. So this is what you want. Let's allow this to cool down. And then we, you know, bottle up. Or we put in our containers. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at cc 9332 and email me at this nsr60 at gmail.com. Please try this. You would love it. It's a good way to preserve apples. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and week. Bye-bye.